Let's look at a few slightly harder questions, still simplifying thirds. Um, just to remind you that if you have something like the square root of 18, then you write that as the square root of 9, which is a square number, multiplied by 2. You split it into two separate square roots, and the square root of 9 is 3, so you write it as 3 root 2. But also, be careful, things like the square root of 5 plus the square root of 7, you cannot do anything with. So that cannot be simplified. And you'll need both of those thoughts as we work through some of these examples. So, for example, suppose you want to simplify the square root of 300 plus the square root of 48. Work on each number separately. So the square root of 300, find the biggest square number which goes into 300, which is 100. So you write it as 100 times 3. 48, find the biggest square number which will go into 48, which is 16. So you write that as 16 times 3. Split them into separate square roots. So it's the square root of 100 multiplied by the square root of 3 plus the square root of 16 multiplied by the square root of 3. The square root of 100 is 10. So that's 10 root 3 plus the square root of 16 is 4. So it's 4 root 3. And because the third is the same in both parts of this question. It's both root 3. We can add these together. So 10 lots of root 3 plus 4 lots of root 3 is 14 lots of root 3. So that quite messy looking root 300 plus root 48 has simplified to 14 root 3. Another example. Suppose you want to simplify the square root of 300 minus the square root of 50. Same again, 300 we've already seen worked on above. So 300 is 100 times 3 minus the square root of 50. The biggest square number which goes into 50 is 25. So it's 25 times 2. Split them up. Square root of 100 times the square root of 3 minus the square root of 25 times the square root of 2. The square root of 100 is 10, so it's 10 root 3. The square root of 25 is 5, so it's 5 root 2, and that's it. You cannot join those two together because the first term has a square root of 3 and the second term has a square root of 2. So that is the end of that part of the question. Again, suppose you wanted to simplify something like 5 root 7 multiplied by 4 root 2. So everything here is multiplied. Now, if I insert some more multiplication signs, remember 5 root 7 really means 5 times the square root of 7. Then I've got the multiplication sign that's actually in the expression. And then 4 root 2 really means four times root two. Now with multiplying, it doesn't all matter which order you do things in. So two times three is six and three times two is six. So I'm going to swap those middle two terms around. So you get five times four times root seven times root two, because then it's easy to show you where the multiplying comes from. The five times four is 20 multiplied by root 7 times root 2 and I'm using the multiplication law backwards. This time I'm going to start with two separate square roots and put them both under one square root. So that becomes 7 times 2. 7 times 2 is 14 so you end up with 20 root 14. The square root of 14 looks like it's got quite a big number underneath the square root sign, but 
there are no square numbers which go into 14, so we're fine. We can leave it like that. And then one final example. This time, 1 plus root 2 in a bracket multiplied by 3 plus root 6 in a bracket. So we're going to start by multiplying out the brackets. So 1 times 3 is 3 plus root 2 times root 6, which I will write down like that to start with, but we are going to be able to work on that one, plus 1 times root 6, which is just root 6, plus root 2 times 3, which we can bet write as 3 root 2. So I've multiplied out the brackets. The 3 will stay as it is. The root 2 times root 6 are two square roots multiplied together. So I can write that as the square root of 2 times 6, and then plus root 6, and plus 3 root 2. And I cannot do anything with those last two terms because they are different square roots. So I'm still going to keep working on this term. It's 3 plus the square root of 12 plus the square root of 6 plus 3 times the square root of 2. Now the square root of 12 can actually be simplified because 12 has a factor which is a square number. 4s will go into 12, and 4 is a square number. So the 12 I'm going to write as the root of 4 times 3, still plus the root 6 and the 3 root 2. Split your two multiplications up, so it's root 4 times root 3 plus root 6 plus 3 root 2, which becomes 3 plus the square root of 4 is 2, so it's 2 root 3 plus root 6 plus 3 root 2. And that is the end. You cannot do any more with that because all the numbers under the square root signs are different from each other.